And this is Mike from theshopstream.com. And did you know that Friday the 20th of August is Piranha 3D Day? And everybody gets so excited and says, only four more sleeps to Piranha 3D Day. Only two more sleeps to the Piranha 3D Day. Only one more sleep. And then Piranha 3D Day is there. And everybody goes and sees Piranha 3D in the movie theater. And if you see anybody that's not wearing Piranha colored clothes, you get to Piranha bite their butt. And they go, ha! Ah, I forgot to wear the Piranha. And then your dad has too many piranha teenies at the piranha parade and he argues with your mom and throws all your piranha 3D day presents in the fireplace and falls asleep in the bathtub. It's going to be so good. You know what the best part about piranha 3D day is? The return of 3D movies to the theater. Isn't it the best? Hopefully it'll re, 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 re catch on this time and the movie companies will make more money than they ever did. So if you don't know what to select for your special Piranha 3D, 3D Day, 3D Film Festival, here are the best five 3D movies ever made. Number five, Jaws 3D, the third Jaws in 3D. This movie has Dennis Quaid and Lou Gossett Jr. and a pissed off mama shark that's angry at the world and sea world because the baby shark died. And when the mama shark explodes, its jaws fly out at you in 3D. This movie was shot in special 3D, not like in the 50s where it got each of the th two images on the same piece of film, which means that theaters didn't have to have two projectors and two projectionists to display this movie, which was great, which brought back a lot of great 80s 3D movies, except when you were nine years old and you watched the movie on TV where they couldn't put it on in 3D, they only had to take one of those pictures and it was normally only was half the resolution of a normal movie, so it looked like crap. Number four, Gorilla at Large. Did you ever want to see Clue in an outside circus about an ape? Who murdered the man? Was it the animal trainer, the, the acrobat, or was it Goliath the gorilla, or just a man in a gorilla suit trying to frame Goliath the gorilla? You could find out. Number three, Captain Milkshake. The most vicious polemical deconstruction of the American involvement in Vietnam ever put to film that for some reason part of it is in 3D and part of it is in black and white non-3D and it's also called Captain Milkshake. Number two, Manhole and Ramrod. Two movies, 1975 and 1973. Nothing is known about these movies except that they existed and that they were 3D. And I like to imagine that Manhole is an exciting action monster movie about a monster in the sewers and Ramrod is a moving romance about a carnival acrobat with back cancer and his assistant who stuffs him inside the giant cannon. Either that or some 3D hardcore mid-70s ass <laughs> Number one, Catwomen of the Moon. Catwomen, the moon, a spider, hypnotize. It's in 3D. That's all I have written down. Happy Piranha 3D Day, everyone. That's all I wrote for a